How is it that the city of Miami ends up with a treasury and then also earning Bitcoin yield? Mayor Suarez just turned his city into like an oil producing country that yields Bitcoin. And I'll tell you how that happened. When you mine city coins like Miami coin, 30% of uh, the cryptocurrency that you're sending in to mine goes directly to the city. So, you know, when you mine Bitcoin, you spend electricity. When you mine city coins, you spend cryptocurrency. That crypto just happens to be stacks, which happens to yield approximately 10% APY in Bitcoin. And that's a nominal yield. So if the value of stacks goes up, the yield goes up commensurate to that. When you're sending in those stacks 30 uh, to mine, 30% goes directly to the city's treasury. And that's why the city of Miami has almost $22 million worth of stacks after just three months of this protocol going live. Now that number is just going to go up and up and up and up and up in terms of stats. And therefore the amount of uh, Bitcoin that that treasury can yield will also uh, go go up as a function of uh, the stacks being added to the treasury ongoingly just being added. So okay. that treasury... Yeah. So, so once you get that treasury there and they are generating the Bitcoin yield, that is what uh, Mayor Suarez in Miami is saying. He is going to take the Bitcoin yield and he used a very specific term of a dividend, right? He's basically going to give that to the citizens. Now, my understanding and, and what some of the questions were around is – we don't have all the details, right? There, there isn't necessarily like, hey, here's exactly how this is going to work. But the high level uh, appears to be that any citizen can come in. They can get any digital wallet. Doesn't matter what company, what brand, you know, who, whoever built it, uh, custodial, non-custodial, the, the whole nine yards. They then will get some future to be determined amount of that Bitcoin. So the citizens are getting Bitcoin in a digital wallet that they control. It's not a city created um, a digital wallet like a Chivo wallet or anything like that. This is just off the shelf from the market, uh, but it's a dividend. It's not the city going and buying Bitcoin in like the open market and turning around and like handing it to citizens. That's right. So, you know, cities, city, the reason cities don't just buy, simply buy Bitcoin is because taxpayers would be so incredibly uh, mad at them if they did that because they're, they'd be, um, they'd be asking taxpayers for, money out of their own pockets to get Bitcoin. Uh, what what Suarez did with Miami coin is he uh, added tax revenue, he added non-tax revenue to uh, to the city that they can distribute to to um, folks in terms of Bitcoin. Now, um, that's right. And uh, in terms of like uh, people using wallets, I, I believe the city is looking for uh, the sort of best possible, uh, you know, way to do this in a uniform, you know, kind of like sensible way. So like, I don't have all the details. Um, they're going to determine that. But one thing I think actually could be really useful here is using lightning channels and getting the city set up on not just Bitcoin, but lightning and uh, ongoingly uh, sort of metering out uh, Bitcoin. And how would that work? Um, so the, the city has to figure that out, essentially. That's like they're talking to folks from from lightning, uh, from uh, different lightning uh, sort of uh, companies and Essentially, what would happen is uh, all the Bitcoin that's yielding from the um, the city's uh, stacks treasury would go into a wallet uh, that would set up set up a you know payment channels with all the sort of citizens, or it might go into multiple wallets and uh, be sent automatically. You could also do it without Lightning, but there's a lot of citizens, and I'm sure Lightning would be helpful. So, for example, uh, and I'm just going to use one that I uh, one I'm an investor in, but also two I understand intimately, and they've done a bunch of like pay me in Bitcoin type stuff. Is somebody could go, they could get a strike wallet, and the city could use the Lightning Network, take the Bitcoin that they've earned as part of that yield, and then pay out to a user who has that strike wallet, uh, and that's the way that the city would essentially be sending Bitcoin to a you know private citizen. Yeah, I can I can chime in on the go ahead how this this can work. So basically, think of this as uh, let's roughly call it a $20 million worth of treasury uh, with a 10% yield. You're talking about $2 million worth of uh, Bitcoin projected, but th this, this might actually, given, given that the donations, these are kind of like donations coming into the treasury. So donations might keep going up, right? So it might be like a 50 million treasury. We don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this turns out, but the yield is dependent on that. So let's call it anywhere between two to $5 million of Bitcoin. Uh, once you start looking at it as Bitcoin in Satoshi's, that's actually a pretty large number, right? So you're, 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 because a single Bitcoin has like hundred million Satoshi's. So you're talking about a large number of sats that are available for these citizens, and you don't want to lose a lot of them in transaction fees. 
right? So the, the ideal way to do it is over Lightning. Like you help people set up Lightning channels. Imagine like entire city government would have to understand Lightning. They would have to build up their own Lightning uh, uh, the, uh, channels, which is super exciting. The amount of education, the Bitcoin education that happens over here. And then the people who onboard, not everyone's going to onboard, right? So it might seem like, okay, maybe $5 million worth of Bitcoin isn't a lot. A, it's a lot in SATs. B, not everyone is likely going to onboard. Only the people who actually go through the learning journey of what Bitcoin is, what Lightning is, I, I, I think this thing is valuable and I want to get some. For me, the biggest benefit here is the learning journey. When, when people, they get their first Satoshis, like in their wallet, they experience a payments rail uh, that is fully decentralized, that is a new type of a sound money. I think that's the thing that, that excites, excites me the most about, uh, about what's going on in my head. And then, Patrick, talk to me about New York. It seems like, obviously, there's this like uh, competition going on now. I wrote this morning about we've got four mayors across the United States that are all getting uh, a portion of their salary paid in Bitcoin. We have Cool Valley, Missouri, uh, Jason Stewart there. He's paying out um, uh, about $1,000 of Bitcoin to his citizens. Uh, the city of New York is now saying, Eric Adams, hey, we're going all in on this stuff. Like, How do we become a leader in this space? So what's going on in New York? Yeah, so uh, Eric Adams is watching what Suarez is doing and he's seeing a new model for a mayor, right? So this is a mayor that makes outgroup arguments to pull uh, talent and capital into their municipality, which is really smart. Most mayors don't even realize that this is, uh, this is, this is uh, essentially a game that's going on right now. They're essentially, most mayors are like asleep at the wheel in terms of like um, uh, how to be a mayor in the 21st century in this regard. And so Eric Adams, uh, is refusing to just uh, be like your prototypical uh, 20th century mayor. And he's looking to compete with with Suarez. And so he saw Miami coin, he said he saw he was doing well, and he said he wanted to uh, go in that direction. So the community decided to activate New York City coin. New York City coin now has $2 million in its treasury that is uh, that they can do it with whatever they want. Uh, that $2 million can also be stacked or in Bitcoin. They could literally copy Suarez and you know become that oil producing country that gives a dividend to their citizens. Um, but I think essentially you're gonna, you're going to see this like this decade you're going to see tons of mayors competing for talent and capital just like a CEO of a company would be. And the reason being the reason for that is that um, we are essentially living in like a default remote first world for information workers. So people are choosing cities like they're choosing products. And um, and 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 so you know. It, you know, you moved from New, I think, New York to Miami um, during the pandemic. You've never been happier, and you chose Miami like a product, and you love Miami. So, like, um, you know, City Coins is great too, just like as an additional thing, uh, as just like another way of voting, sort of, right? So, like, you used to be able to vote with your ballot and uh, with your feet. You voted with your feet to Miami. I don't watch your vote uh, on the ballot, so I don't know if you're voting. But now you can vote with your coin. You can the market can signal. Uh, their approval or disapproval of, of, um, of essentially how capital is spent and how the leadership performs. So if you if you mine or buy or build on city coins, you are committed to the city. Or sorry, if you sorry if you hold city coins, you're committed to the city. If you mine, buy, or build, you are bullish on city leadership. If you sell certain city coins, you're bearish on city leadership. 